A beautiful evening here in Washington DC. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Far Experience. So today we are exploring some of the iconic landmarks in Washington DC. That is the Lincoln Memorial and Vietnam War Memorial. And each of these sites has a powerful story to tell. So without wasting time today, let's dive in. All right, here we are at the Lincoln Memorial. Now mind it guys, this this place has a heavy tourist fall so make sure you have ample time in hand when you come here for parking because parking is gonna be a nightmare around the area and in front of us you can see Washington Monument overlooking the Lincoln Memorial and I'm gonna take you through the Washington Monument some other day but here we are now Lincoln Memorial the giant statue of Abraham Lincoln sitting contemptively in a 19 feet like it's a 19 feet tall and it's made of white georgia marble the memorial is also home to famous speeches including the gettysburg address and martin martin luther king's jr's i have a dream speech delivered in 1963. now standing here you can really feel the weight of the history it's a place of reflection and not just on lincoln's legacy but on the ongoing fight for equality and again overlooking the Washington Monument so Washington Monument you gotta wait for us for some other time all right so first up the Lincoln Memorial was dedicated in 1922 and this is a majestic structure which honors Abraham Lincoln the 16th president of the United States and he led the nation through the Civil War so this memorial is known for its stunning statue of Lincoln sitting at the hall at the Grand Hall and this statue is 99 feet tall and a symbol of unity and freedom and the inscriptions at the back of this statue uh, like it's the is the inscription of Lincoln's famous speeches like the Gettysburg address and reminding us of his enduring legacy so this is not just a monument it's it's a place where people gather to reflect on justice and equality next we have the Washington moment uh, monument uh, overlooking the Lincoln Memorial which is basically 555 feet and it is the tallest stone structure in the world and an iconic symbol of American leadership this was completed in 1884 and the monument honors George Washington the first president of the United States Finally, when we walk out of the Lincoln Memorial overlooking, you know, the Washington Monument, towards the left you have the Vietnam War Memorial, uh, dedicated in 1982, so this is the newest of all the three structure. This side is a stark contrast to the, you know, previous monuments. Designed by Maya Lin, the wall is a simple black granite structure that reflects the name of over 58,000 servicemen and women who lost their life during the Vietnam War. Now you can also see flowers and flags dedicated to the people who served by you know their loved ones family and friends right in front of us and so this is very actually this is an emotional space like visitors come to reflect and connect personally with those who actually served and it's deeply emotional and people leave flowers notes and mementos honoring their loved ones Now each of these monument is not just a structure, these are actually the place of remembrance, reflection and respect. They embody the spirit of the nation and the sacrifices made for freedom and unity. Now we are overlooking the Washington Monument. 
But then do you know it, the Washington Monument was constructed in two phases. And the first phase was halted due to funding issues, leading to a noticeable color difference in the stones. Now the unique characteristics, it only adds to his, like uh, the historic significance. So thank you for joining us today on this tour of Washington DC's monumental history. But if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more experiences and obviously you are most welcome to comment too. So what I'm going to do is I'll keep bringing on, I'll try to bring in more and more explorations into our nation's past as well as you know all other the all of the other countries and places I travel. Till now I have been over 10 countries so make sure you support me so I can bring you all the content from all over the world. Signing out for today. Bye-bye.